Hello everyone, welcome to Code for Placement. In today's video, we are going to talk about the example of compound join condition. So this thing we are going to see with an example and you have seen it so far. We have a single column in the unique identifier and the row to be uh, extracted from the table. So for example, we are taking the customer table and we have this customer ID column, uh, which is a unique identifier in uh, in this row. So, but there is a uh, are times that we cannot have a single column as a unique identifier records uh, we have a given so for example look at the order item in the table uh, we have the common like order item item or product id or so on so now if you want you look at the data you can see that the value of the order column are repeated okay so they are duplicate a uh, triple two triple double six <clears throat> So the order ID is not unique, right? So even the product ID is not unique. So the quantity and the unit price. So this is all we have. So uh, if in, in that particular case, uh, what we are going to do is we have uh, the quantity unit price. So we will, we use the combination of the value of both the columns. We can unique, uh, we can uniquely identify each order item in the other words. Uh, we don't have two records for order item or product ID. Uh, we only have a single record for items all right so now uh, let's open the table and the design mo mode uh, so you can see how it is um, saturated so product id and order id is a data type of int and um, uh, basically the uh, co composite uh, primary key takes more than one column and, and now uh, why does the that this matter will well when we have the table as a composite primary key you need to learn how to join the table with another table for example here we have this table order item notes that we use to keep the note for each order item and let's take a look at the data here so we have this column note and which is uniquely identifier and the record in this table so next to that we have the order id and the product id as well so you learn that the combination of these two columns uniquely represent an order id right so here we for an example number three and the product one uh, we have two nodes right so let's write the query and we can understand the remaining part over there so you select to start from order id item as oi i'm given the lines and order item notes as i o i n correct so i'm just going to take the uh, uh, condition uh, which is order id and product id the combination of these things so as i'm going to use the compound join combination conditions right so we have the combination of o i order id is equal to this o i n correct so that which is our order id notes and that is order name order id Again, we have the order ID as order item as well. We have the order ID as order item notes as well. And here the condition we are writing is as and. So this is very important. So uh, if we have this compound uh, uh, order ID, uh, like order item product ID and order item note as product ID. So we have two conditions. You can see previous to this, whatever the join condition we have written it as with the one condition. Here I have written two conditions. So this is all we have for the compound design thank you so much guys do subscribe to code for placement and we will meet in the next video thank you